Now, gummy bears are a great way to bust one of the common misconceptions about light reflection. Now, the misconception is this. Most students think that color is a property of matter. For example, if I place something shiny and red, like a big red apple in sunlight, on a white sheet of paper that you're going to see a red glow show up on the paper. And the question is, where did that red light come from? Did the apple add its own color to otherwise clear sunlight? The answer is no. And that's actually the problem. Actually, that's the idea that leads to bigger problems later on down the road. So let me show you how you can get this idea straightened out so you really know the truth about light and light reflection. Now, it's really hard to understand that when you see a red apple, what's going on is that most of the wavelengths that make up white light are being absorbed by the apple, and only red is the one that's reflected. That's why the apple appears red to our eyes. See, when light hits something, it gets absorbed and either converted back to heat, reflected back like light on a mirror, or transmitted like through a window. So here's a really cool experiment you can do. You see my flashlight here? I'm going to shine that through my gummy bear. And if we turn down the studio lights, do you see how the red light is coming out of the back of my gummy bear? That's because the white light, which is composed of all colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and even more in between there, the red light is the only one that's allowed to pass through the gummy bear. Now, if I put a green gummy bear here and I shine my flashlight through it, I'm going to get green light coming out the other end. Okay? But white light has all the colors in it, right? So this is where it gets confusing because students think, oh, well, the gummy bear is adding part of its greenness and making the green light come out. Okay, well, here's how you can bust that misconception. This is a green laser. And by shining a green laser on my gummy bear, you can see that light comes out the other end. Now, in reality, this is green light. The video camera is showing you white light because it's really sensitive now since the studio is dark. But there's light that's allowed to pass through the gummy bear. That's what I want you to see. Now, if I use a red gummy bear, what do you think happens? Oh, look, how interesting. Is any light allowed to pass through the red gummy bear? No. In fact, you even see a shadow back here, don't you? That's because lasers are monochromatic. That means the green light from my laser here that's only one color, it's only one wavelength, it's green. And the green light gets absorbed by the gummy bear and since there's no red light in here to pass through, no light is allowed to shine through my gummy bear. Do you see how that works? What happens if we use a red laser? Do you see how the red light is allowed to pass through the gummy bear? Okay, and the red light from my laser, it's only one color. But what if I put the green gummy bear in there? Okay, so that green gummy bear, see it's green here. That green gummy bear blocks all the red light. Now a little bit of the light is actually seeping around the gummy bear. <laughs> but it blocks the red light from the laser. How interesting. Now remember, the gummy bear doesn't color the light. Since white light is made up of all visible colors, the red and green light were already in there. The red gummy bear only let through the light that was red and it absorbed the rest. And we saw that when we used our green laser on it because it didn't let any of the green laser light in there.